And this is the nature, my dear respected brothers and sisters. People are suffering out there. And don't allow the dunya to deceive you. Because Muslims have a concept, it's called barakah. A barakah. When you spend for the sake of Allah, Allah is the one who gives and Allah is the one who increases and Allah is the one who puts the barakah. In shakartum la azidannakum. Allah promises, He said, if you do shukr, then I will increase. What does shukr mean? Generally, you know, the Asians, I don't know about the rest, but they say, you know, shukr, ah, shukr is shukr alhamdulillah. That's it. The optimum shukr is that you spend and you utilize what Allah has given you for His pleasure. That is shukr. That is the optimum shukr. The Prophet Sallallahu said, Imam Tirmidhi relates in the Jami, you know, he said, Ma naqasa, he said, Thalatun uqsimu alayhinna. Three things I take an oath upon. No man's wealth will decrease if he spent in the path of Allah. No man's. In the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and I'll finish here, in the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came home, and he asked Aisha, has anybody come to the house? And she said, a man came, but all we had was a bit of food for you, O Messenger of Allah, so I kept it for you. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, no, no Aisha, what you would have spent is that you would have kept that for me. Because it would have been by Allah and it would have been stored. Ma indakum yanfadu wa ma indallahi baq. Whatever you have will perish, but whatever is stored by Allah will remain. And this had a profound impact on Aisha radiallahu anha. And after the demise of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa a beggar came to the house of Aisha radiallahu anha. And her, uh, her slave opened the door, Barira radiallahu anha. And, and the beggar said, O oh, family of the Messenger of Allah, give me something. And she said, we have nothing. And Aisha radiallahu anha was listening to this. And Aisha said, who is it? And Barira radiallahu anha said, it's, it's a beggar. And all we have is a handful of barley for you to open your fast with. And it was at the time of Asr. And Aisha radiallahu anha said, give it, Allah will provide. And she gave it, come Maghrib time, there's no food. And Aisha radiallahu anha opened her fast with some water and she began the Maghrib Salah. And Barira radiallahu anha is sitting there and she's sarcastically, she's saying, you know, jokingly, she's saying, Oh, Allah will provide, Allah will provide. And then there's a knock on the door and a man comes and he gives a goat as a gift. And Aisha radiallahu anha finished the salah. And she said, oh Barira, who is it? And she said, it was a man who lives in the area. By Allah, he has never ever given us anything before. But today he bought us a goat. And Aisha radiallahu anha said, oh Barira, isn't that goat better than the handful of wheat that you had? And then she said something which really signifies the Iman of these people. She said, I swear by Allah, none of you can be a true believer until his trust in Allah is stronger than that which he has in the palm of his hand. That which he has in the palm of his hand, you see it, but your trust in Allah is stronger than what you have in your hand. And we see the dunya, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make our belief stronger in the akhirah than it is in the dunya. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us a, an iman which makes us realize the fallacy of the dunya and the deception of this dunya.